This is Inside CSUSP, your number one source for all things Cal State San Bernardino. The university will award prominent philanthropist and foundation leader Julia I. Lopez with an honorary doctorate at CSUSB's Palm Desert Campus Commencement Ceremony in June. Lopez has made a profound difference in the lives of countless students through her work in leading the College Futures Foundation. Zala Volsik, a visiting assistant professor in communication studies, led a discussion following the screening of Killing Us Softly 4, the latest edition of author and filmmaker Jean Kilborn's documentary series on the image of women in advertising and in the media. CSUSB will receive $425,000 as part of a $2.2 million grant to five CSU campuses from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. The grant seeks to increase academic opportunities and provide financial aid to underrepresented students who pursue a doctorate in the humanities. Author and historian Gary P. Zola was the guest speaker at the second annual Rabbi Hillel Cohn Endowed Lecture on the Contemporary Jewish Experience. Zola's talk focused on how history has shown that certain members of the Jewish community consider Abraham Lincoln to be one of their own. Not only have American Jews venerated this man, but what I found in my research is that something very unique happens. They try hard to, if you will, Judaize Abraham Lincoln. And the Judaization of Abraham Lincoln is something that begins while he's president and continues on to this day. Singer-songwriter Khalid headlined ASI's winter concert, which was held at the university's athletic fields. Also performing was singer-songwriter Tinell. The theater department staged a production of Frankenstein based on the original masterpiece by Mary Shelley, which was adapted and directed by Professor Tom Provenzano. Speaking of Provenzano, he was mentioned as using stylized graphic novels to adapt Shelley's work, according to an article in the High Desert Daily, which wrote about the play. The San Bernardino Sun listed Mike Stull, a professor of entrepreneurship, as appearing on a video in the Inland Region's business climate at the annual San Bernardino County Regional Business Forum and the State of the County. Psychology associate professor Kelly Campbell was quoted in Business Insider regarding high-quality relationships versus quantity relationships. Campbell, who studies interpersonal relationships, said one person could report having one close friend or family member and be just as happy as someone who reports having five or ten. The Highland Community News listed economics professor emeritus Tom Pierce as giving a perspective on the U.S. economy at the Highland Area Chamber of Commerce's quarterly breakfast meeting. Professor Brian Levin was quoted in the Washington Post regarding the term globalism as used by various members of the Trump administration, including the president. Levin said globalism is the defining folklore and narrative for the racist right and it has become a convenient boogeyman to explain the various declines that the United States is perceived to be in. Iconic labor leader and civil rights activist Dolores Huerta spoke to students as part of Si Se Puede, a dialogue with Dolores Huerta. The legendary activist told the students that protest marches were good and effective, but real change in society and government comes at the ballot box. Because the only way that you can change policies is by electing the people that make the decisions. By electing the people that are going to decide what to do with our tax dollars, is it going to go for more jails? Or is it going to go for more schools? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at the next edition of Inside CSUSB.